the Obama staff, the campaign, wanted you to attack Sarah Palin, and you say you wouldn't do that. The day she was nominated. So it was after uh, the convention that nominated uh, President Obama, Vice uh, President Biden. The day she was nominated, the Obama campaign um, uh, did contact me and asked me if I would attack her. I said, attack her for what? For being a woman? Attack her for being on a ticket that's trying to draw attention? There'll be plenty of time to do what I think you should do in politics, which is draw distinctions. She is a fundamentally good and decent person who knows what she's doing and will be an outstanding president. And, and by the way, I just want to say to the guys out there, I want to be honest. You know, there's a reason why we haven't had a woman president before. And I think that sometimes, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to get over the hump. And, and, and we have to ask ourselves as men, because I hope my daughters are going to be able to achieve anything they want to achieve. And I, I, and, and I know that, that my wife is not just my equal, but my superior. That I want us. I, I, I want every, every man out there who's voting to, to kind of look inside yourself and ask yourself, well, how, if, you're, if you're having problems with this stuff, how much of, of it is, you know, that we're just not used to it? So that, you know, like, like you know, when, when a guy's ambitious and out in the public arena and working hard, well, that's okay. But, but when a woman suddenly does it, suddenly you're all like, well, why is she doing that? I'm just being honest. I want you to think about it because... She is so much better qualified than the other guy.